one of the uh, metaphors the Buddha used for an awakened mind is a man looking into a clear pool of water, a clear, still, clean, pristine pool of water. And with his vision unobstructed, he can see to the bottom and he can see fish moving to and fro. And this uh, metaphor of the mind as a pool of water is also used in reference to the hindrances in Iwarana which obstruct the mind. No. Desire is like colored dye thrown into the pool. And it makes the pretty color, but you can't see down to the bottom. You can't see the pebbles, and you can't see the fish going to and fro. Yeah. Ill will or anger is like the water's boiling. Yeah. Sloth and torpor is like it's covered in pond scum. Anxiety is like the wind is whipping up the water so it's all churned from, from the wind. And skeptical doubt or uncertainty is like the water is muddy. It's dirty so it's befouled and you can't see to the bottom. These are all obstructions that occur in the place of the objects, in the known. The knower, the clear knowing has no desire, it has no fear, it's not obstructed by any of these defilements itself. It's simply knowing. But if the mind is like that pool of water, the knowing is like the clear sight of the man looking in the water. And the, the mind is like the pool of water. And if the pool of water is obstructed by these defilements, then it can't be seen clearly. And that's not the, that's not a problem with the knowing. That's a problem with the known. So the mind, the objects in the mind are are disturbed, but the knowing, it sees that too. It sees the defilement of greed as greed and anger as anger and so on, without itself being greedy or angry. <laughs> 